Hi, so now in the previous lecture, we've just created our project. So let's open our terminal and make sure you've activated your virtual environment first. And now let's open our project. So I'm going to say code dot. And here we have VS Code open this directory. Actually, I'm going to use VS Code in this project. So you can download it or you can use Atom or Sublime or whatever you need. You use it's most of the same, but I like VS Code actually. So we have our project. And now let's run our server. So I'm going to say Python manage by run server. We've just run our server for the first time. But now we have you have 15 and applied migration. Your project may not work properly until you apply this migration for admin of this is this is just to apply the migration that Django created for the built-in like tables like admin auth and so on but first let's open this link in our browser so I'm gonna copy this link I'm gonna open Chrome and here I'm gonna paste this link and hit enter so now we have Django installed we have Django the release notes thus the version so we have worked successfully congratulations and we have the debug mode equal true this is in the settings and this enables us to see the errors in the server and so on and we have the documentation for Django that pulling app this is an app from the developers of the Django and we have the Django community if you have any issue and so on okay so let's open the Django admin so I'm gonna open the Django admin and now we got an error no such table Django session because we did not run the migrate command so let's close the server let's hit clear let's run it again and let's take a look at this notification so at the end of this notification we got run by some managed by migrate to apply them so let's run this command let's close our server let's run this and let's hit enter so now we've just created the tables of our project and the, now we have a SQLite 3 database. Don't worry about the SQLite. We will use it in the development, but on the, in the at the end of the course, we will uh, connect our project to Postgres SQL or MySQL or both of them. Don't worry. We will learn how can we change this database. But now we've just created the main tables for for the built in Django uh, admin session and so on. So now let's set let's run our server again and let's refresh our page. So we've got the login page, but we need to add a username and password and so on. But we did not create a username and the password. Okay, don't worry. Django asks you to create a super user so to enable you to treat with admin. So we're gonna say Python manage to by create Django commands needs to, to be like a one word. So create super user as a one word. One word. So create super user. There is no space. Hit enter. Then I'll leave it Macbook, I'm gonna leave my email, I'm gonna add the password from 1 to 7 and the A letter from 1 to 7 and the A letter Let's hit enter I got a notification that this password in two comments, so I'm gonna hit yes and we've just created our super user, so let's run the server again and let's log in using this username and the password so now we have users and the groups, this is the built-in Django features you can add users you can add groups and apply these users to real groups and so on this is one of the best django adventures or this is the django admin which enable you to do many things and we will learn uh, like uh, many of them in this course so don't worry and we will start customizing it and so on don't worry so now we've just created our super user and we learned how can we run our server and so on so it's the time that we create our app Let's clear it this and let's open our file and let's save it in our project folder. So let's open tutorials, Django URL, SRC, and I'm gonna call this outline. Okay, let's reset the font. So now we have to create a Robertus app, we have to create an agents app and about us and the contact and so on. So so we have also contact, sorry contact and we have also the home site so now let's create our app first I'm gonna write Python manage the by start app to create a new app and we will create this app with the name of 
properties. So let's say property. Set enter. So we just create our first property app. So now let's run our server and let's take a look at our property app. Let's open base code. And now we've got a new folder with name of property. So let's open this. We have an admin deploy this this file enable us to treat with admin and we have models let's uh, say that this model file enable us to create tables in the database and so on do we have views this is uh, like the brain for the website this is a controller actually so we will write all the logic in this view but now we have created our app but first after creating any new app you need first to add this app to the install the apps on our settings the build so here we have the install apps so we will add our app in here so i'm going to say pro bird like this let's save this configuration and let's make sure our server is running and one of the best features of django the django server admin or the django server the server uh, like uh, good for development you you don't have to use it in the production or you have to change it to a patch or nginx or whatever so let's let's start designing our app model so here let's open our property app let's send the models to py and first of all you need when you create a new app you first need to start with models creating the database and this model models of py file enable you to treat with the database and so on so here i'm gonna create a new class it was name of property and this class inherits from models dot model and here we need to add our formation and so on okay so let's sort first of all we have let's take all of those so we have we have name we have location we have type we have price we have area page number both number we have crotch okay so let's start with the first one this the name this is a core field so we're gonna say models the, sorry just core field this f letter is capital and then we need to give it the max length we're gonna say max length equal to let's say 50 50 so now we have the name and the location we will leave it for now because we will talk about but something in this location, we're gonna use a Django package to enable us to treat with Google Maps and so on. So don't worry. And this type, we need to create a choice for this. So we're gonna say property type equal to, and then we need to create choices. And this is like this. So here we're gonna say S for sale. And we need to say our friend. Okay, sorry. Yeah. And those are also in this code here. Yeah. Now we need to connect this choices to our model type. So I'm say models dot core field also. And then we're gonna give it the choices equal to and then we're gonna say property top okay so for prices this is we're gonna say an integer so we're gonna say models dot positive integer field because there is no price was negative so we're gonna say positive integer field and for area we're gonna say this is and uh, let's see the decimal field so we're gonna say models the decimal field and for best number this is a positive integer field so we're gonna say models dot positive integer field and for path number this is also a positive integer field sorry and for garage number this is also a positive integer field just like this so now we've just created three we've got an error 
we take a look at this this note we can see the, all the features which we can provide to this positive integer feed we have verbs name the name the primary key the max length and so on so don't worry so I've just created so we need to change this to pro dirty type yeah just like this and there is an error so let's save this and let's turn our server I don't know why there is an error in the documentation. So let's see this. And let's take a look at our server. We've got an error. Decimal field must define a decimal places attribute. So for this decimal field, we're going to define decimal places equal to 2. And we also have to provide max digits. So we're going to say equal to 5. And for core field, we must define a max length. So here, property type, let's define the max length equal to, and let's give it like 10. And let's take a look at our server length. Yeah, this is length. Yeah. And Let's run our, let's restart our server. So now everything is working fine. So let's create this or let's apply this migration to our apps. So we're gonna say Bison, manage the BY. First, we need to make migration so that Django can hear these changes and check if this change are right or, or not. So we're gonna say make migrations. Let's hit enter. And now we've created a model property. And this model have been created in this probability migration 001 and so on. So let's open this migration folder 001. So this is the syntax of our make migration. This will create a model with name of probability and this all, all the fields. And if we take a look, we can see that Django adds an ID field which we can use. And this field is primary key which created and so on. So let's load this. And here we need to apply this migration to our database. So we're gonna say by some managed by migrate. Let's enter. So now we've just applied this migration to our project. So let's run our server again. And every time you make change or we add a change to our model, you need to execute make migration and the migrate commands. And after you create your model, you need to add this model to the admin deploy so that you can see this model in the admin. So let's add this model. So we're gonna say from dot models. Sorry, models import and let's take the name of this model property like this and let's add this property. So we're gonna say admin dot site dot register and we're gonna add this property like this and let's add our admin. Let's refresh our website. We've got property. So first of all, let's open add property. So we have a name, we have a property type, let's do sale or rent. We have a price, we have area, pets number, pets, both number and garage and so on. So let's add one, so we're gonna say name of the property. So let's take one from our front end. I'm gonna take in one of those names. So we're gonna say three pets room for sale. So here. So this is for sale. So the property type, sale. And the price it is, so you see, something like this. And the area, it's like 2,050. The pitch number, we have three, two, one. So we're gonna see three, two, one. And let's hit save. We've got an error, let's correct this. Show that there are no more than three digits before the decimal point. Yeah, so we need to change this and the area. So let's open our code. And the admin for area, 
we need to change this the decimal places the more digits yeah so let's make this like eight or something yeah and let's remove this and let's hit save so we just created our first property and now we need we've applied some changes in our model so we need to create make migration migrate again so let's hit make migration we've altered the fill area on property and we need to make migrate and let's run our server again but there is a simple issue this is property object we need to give it a name of uh, something like this is the name of this property we need to set this name in this last view so here in our models the by we need to add an str function so we're going to say def str and we need to return something so we're going to say return self dot and we have the name so we're going to say name. and now let's refresh our page and we've got three bedroom property for sale yeah so now we've just added our first property the django add and we can delete it edit it and so on so let's move back and the, now everything is working fine and we need to add the categories and work more with this property and our Django admin and we will do this the next lecture. See you next lecture.